What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to go over how to get top 100 in Madden 22. Guys, the first thing you need to know first is the scoring system in solo battles. Um, it's really important because a lot of people think put up as many points as you can and don't give up any points. Now you do need to put up points to hit some uh, of the uh, criterias, but like on like scoring 400 points is not going to be better than scoring 70 points and doing the things you need to do. And a lot of people don't understand that. So let's um let's go over what you need to do. Now obviously they can change the scoring system because we're still on Mad 21. Obviously we got a day day before Mad 22 comes out. Um but they've had the same scoring system for Mad 20 and Mad 21. So I'm going to assume that Madden 22 is going to be the same exact scoring system. So let's go over what you need to do to get top 100 or even better. Um, I mean, even top top 10, maybe even number 1 if you guys uh, learn how to do all this. But first off, let's go over the offense. You're going to want 500 passing yards, 5 passing touchdowns. 30 completions, so that's the passing uh, stats right there. You're going to want 250 rushing yards. If you end up with 200, that's, that's fine, uh, but 250 is better. Three rushing touchdowns. Attempts don't matter too much. I think you do get a little bit of a bonus if you get to 20, but that's a lot of rushing attempts, so I don't usually worry about that. Um, but, so that's our running, we're going to want 30 first downs, you get a little bonus points for 35, but 30 is going to get you what you need, um, so I believe that is offense right there, we, we hit everything on offense, um, uh, now on the defensive side, defense, so, one of the biggest tips I can give you on defense is it. <laughs> this is going to shock a lot of you guys if you haven't heard my videos before. Giving up points does not matter. You can give up as, as long as you win the game, because if you lose, then you're, you screw yourself over. But you can actually give up like 70 points and still have a good score. The key is, is you can't give up yards. Point like. So what some people will do is they'll go off size, put the computer at the one yard line, and they'll give up points if they can't stop the computer, if it's a bad playbook. Um, so that's a strategy, but um, so make, make sure you guys are more worried about keeping your opponent to zero yards than you are points, because points don't matter, it's the yards that matter. So number one thing on defense is keeping your opponent to zero yards or negative yards if possible. Um, other than that, you, you're going to want to look at trying to get around 10 sacks. Again, if you only end up with 6, 7, that's not too bad. But try to get to 10. Uh, interceptions. I never say interceptions in my videos because to, to get top 100 in solo battles, for all you guys who have been doing this for a while, you know that we go to special teams pump block, audible to eight up safe man, and then we pick it off every time. Now on the PS5 next gen, I, I, I have a current gen right now. Um, that's where I play my soul battles. You get interceptions every time. But on next gen, I've been told by a lot of people that you don't. So that's going to make things a lot harder. I personally would recommend... I know a lot of you guys are going to buy the MVP Dynasty Edition to get the game earlier, to get better uh, mud stuff, you know, to help to build the team. I would actually recommend probably playing Soul Battles on uh, current gen, because assuming that we can still get our interceptions, it'll be a lot easier, especially just regular solos, grinding the game, I definitely recommend um, doing solos on PS4 or, you know, 
current gen. Honestly, I get confused with the Xbox. I'm a PlayStation person. I'm sorry, Xbox people. I don't know which one's the new one, which one's the old one. So, I, but yeah, I would recommend playing your solos on current gen. Probably solo battles, but uh, someone has to get number one on uh, next gen. So if you're good at next gen, play on next gen. But anyways, uh, so we always get a lot of interceptions. So I don't give up the stats, but I believe you would want three interceptions. Um, yeah, I would say three interceptions with the ten sacks, no yards on defense. That's what we're looking at on defense. Also, we want to force three fumbles on defense. Now, this one was really hard last year. So, um, yeah, like, if you can force fumbles, do it. But don't don't worry about it too much because it was really hard. Well, what we had to do, we had to put the avalanche on. Uh, now, forcing fumbles on special teams does not count. For uh, fumbles on defense. So we really shoot for three fumbles on defense. Not special teams, defense. It's, it'll give you a lot of more points, trust me. Um, and then the last thing is, people don't think this matters at all. People are starting to realize it because me and other people have been telling people now. Is you want three kick returns. It'll really, it'll really boost the score. Now at the beginning of the game, kick returns are usually pretty hard. Three kick returns or palm returns, it doesn't matter which returns. But um, yeah, usually at the beginning of the year is pretty hard because I don't know why it is, but at the beginning of the year, we we play teams that are like mid to high 80s. And then, and then we go get into March, April, May, June. And the teams, their highs is still high 80s. Sometimes they get a 90. I swear, the teams get worse as the year goes on. Our teams get better. The teams either stay the same or get worse. So, like, the beginning of the year is by far the hardest. So, if you can get returns, great. If you can't, that's fine. Because the returns and fumbles are going to be the hardest to do. So, my recommendation is, if you cannot get the returns and fumbles, don't worry about it. If you do everything else I said on the list... You're still going to get a 26,200 if you do everything else on the list, which is easily top 100. It is easily top 100. Honestly, you probably don't even need you probably don't even need sacks, and you're still going to get a top 100. So honestly, if you just focus on the if you don't want to do defense, if you just want to focus on the offense, just make sure not to give up any yards on defense. You're probably still looking at top 100. Now, if you do everything I said, all the offense, the 10 sacks, the three forced fumbles, the three kick returns, you're going to be looking at a 26-7 score. Either 26-7 or really high 26-6, which is easily going to, if you average that for a week, you're going to get number one, or at worst, top three. Um, now, I will say... Getting all the kicker turns, all the fumbles, I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll tell you straight up, it's going to take you 45 minutes or longer to do that. It's going to take a long time. Now, if you forget about the returns, if you forget about the fumbles, you're talking about a 30-minute game. If that's still too long for you, then don't worry about it. Don't go for top 100, guys. Just go for legend. You're still getting, if we look here, we're getting 45,000 coins. We're getting two midfield packs. So that that's 20,000 there, and two red zone, that's 45. So we're getting 115,000 coins there. So, and all you have to do of, to get Legend, play on the hardest difficulty, two clock, win by three. Each game will take five minutes. There's 13 games. The 65 minutes, once you load in, load out, you're talking about probably 75 minutes to about 90 minutes at the most. So you're talking a little over an hour to an hour and a half for over 150,000 coins. It's up to you guys it, uh, what you want to do. Like I said, if you do everything I said on the list, if you can do it all, great. It's going to take about 50 minutes probably, but you're going to get um, easily top 10. 
Get a chance you can get number one. If you don't want to do the kick returns fumbles, you're talking about a 30-minute game. You're going to be looking. If you can easily, if you can get a 26,000 every game, you're probably going to get top 50. I'm not. You're probably going to get top 50, especially at the beginning of the year. And if you just say, "Oh, that's still too much time," just play your slow battles on five minutes. I mean, play your just two clock. It takes five minutes. Over 100,000 coins. Beginning of the year, it's really important. Uh, guys, that's going to be the video, though, because I don't want to go on too long. Um, I just want to, I just want you guys to understand the scoring system now, because that's the most important thing. You don't need to put up 400 points. You need to hit the criteria, the different criteria numbers. So I wanted to let you guys know what you needed to do. But um, I'll have videos going over how to hit this. But I just wanted to let you guys know what to do for when Mad 22 comes out. So you, can, you guys can get top 100 solo battles for sure, guys. Guys, if you like the video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You guys are the best. Guys, Mad 22 is on its way. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.